a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, thus should one regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is, of course, required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or by any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me, but I do not thereby stand acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes. For he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts. And then everyone will receive praise from God. The word of the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. Salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right, and forsake not his faithful ones. Criminals are destroyed, and the posterity of the wicked is cut off. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same, but yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But when the days, but the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new and the peace from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, 
and their skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wine skins. And no one who has been drinking old wine desires new. For he says, the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. So my dear friends, this morning, the first reading, talking about uh, judgment, you know, sometimes it's good, it's easy, not good, but it's easy to judge others, see clearly of others, and even to condemn them, very easy. At the same time, Sometimes you judge yourself and condemn yourself. Some people think they can never be good. When you speak with them, you realize they already they have given up. But at least the reading of today uh, is telling us that God is not like as we think. And if God has not assigned and put a stamp on you, why do you give up? Continue to try. Since you know, then change. In the gospel reading, you say life, when you are young with your parents, life is good. This time, I see life differently. My father is no longer alive. So if I need something now, it's not there. I have to show light. Now you are old. Life has changed. Okay? You are in school. You are studying. But I tell you, Next week, you'll be very busy because it's revision week. It's going to be different from when you were having classes. Okay? So there are stages of life. And when it comes, you have to meet it with its demand. Otherwise, you'll be left behind. So, also... It's a spiritual life. There are things that you can pray Hail Mary and it's enough. But there are others you have to say the full rosary. And Jesus himself will tell you perseverance. He himself will tell you that, look, this one you can only do with prayer, with fasting and prayer. When the, 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 the disciples were not able to cast out that demon, okay? So, there are times that you have to do a three doom, three days, sometimes nine days, 40 days. It depends on the situation. Now, talking about the wine, the new wine, the old wine, you see, there's something over there, wine. So old and new. You see, how I was taught uh, during catechism, what I learned, today, if you apply it to these young ones, they don't understand. So there should be a different way of communicating to them. We write letters, send telegrams. This time they say WhatsApp, Facebook. So what are you going to do? Oh, because I am used to writing a letter and I'm not used to phone, you continue to write a letter and wait? No. So you can't pour new wine in an old skin. You see, that's how I'm looking at it. So you pour new wine into 
a new wine skin. So, meaning that we have to change according to the times. Change doesn't mean that Jesus Christ has changed. That's why I'm saying that. Wine is there. Old, new, but it's wine. So the kernel, the center of our faith is still dead. It doesn't mean now if you are going onto the internet, it means Christ has changed. No way. That's what we have to bear in mind. So when people use this and then they say, now you have changed and all that, does it mean the moral life, the spiritual life, what he's saying, what is in the Bible needs to change? If you have to preach online, uh, sometimes we are streaming and all that. Yes, we are doing it now. Does it mean you have to change the teaching? There's nothing wrong with the teaching. It's still wine. So the old and then the new. But it is still wine. No matter what, it's wine. Shall we rise? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God, that they may always be trustworthy in God's eyes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in power in the world may commit their way to the Lord, so that he may make justice dawn among the nations and peace among the peoples. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. that you may be fresh wine skins for the effervescence and joy of the gospel, expanding with the word of God and allowing Jesus to stretch our capacity for his grace. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. for those who are fasting in the absence of the divine bridegroom, who are mourning and groaning under burdens of pain and misfortune, that Jesus may return and bring them joy and feasting again. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who have died, for whom the Lord has brought to light what is hidden in their hearts in the hour of judgment, that they may soon be purified to sing his praises in heaven's glory. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Hail Mary. Hello. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 